So welcome everybody today and thanks for joining us for another great Tech Training Thursday session. Today we have Roberto Martinez, our CIT and teacher from McKeever Elementary, and he's going to go over some uh, Class Dojo tips and tricks and all that kind of good stuff with you. So Roberto, go ahead and take it away. Okay. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Roberto Martinez. Uh, I'm currently teaching at McKeever Elementary and I teach fourth grade. I'm doing actually math and science this year. So I'm doing the departmentalize, okay? So uh, basically, I've been using Class Dojo for the last, I don't know, more than 10 years. Uh, I think, I, be, I, I believe I started uh, actually using Class Dojo, I think 2011 or 2012. I went to a training in Austin, and they are actually, they use this app, and um, and someone has the mic on. Yeah, there you go. So, so I was, like I was saying, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I've been using Class Dojo for the last, I don't know, let's say more than 10 years, and I've been so familiar, uh, familiarized with, with Class Dojo. So this is an app that helps you with uh, three things, and I'm going to mention it right now, and I'm going to show it to you how to use it or how I, I mean, I'm actually using it in the classroom. So basically, you're going to be doing like communication with parents and families, and you're going to see the way you communicate with the parents and families. The number two uh, encourages, uh, encourages and monitors their behavior especially with homework or the way they behave in class. So it's actually they're going to be doing or using a uh, point system. And this point system, the way I'm going to explain during the presentation, how am I using it in the classroom? And it's actually working for me for the last, I don't know, for sure, seven years. So I've been using that. And then lastly, last week is also is going to be building a classroom culture which means that the students are feeling comfortable how to use their points and also how they can actually improve some of the skills they use in the classroom. Since I was, I'm teaching math, I'm going to focus more, mostly in math, but also I can, I can, you can use it in any, any, um, any other, uh, any other uh, subjects. Okay. So how can I share my screen so I can do this? I need some. You're going to click on the little up arrow next to where it's okay asleep. and then i'm going to be sharing my screen yes so side by side no uh which one do i use to show the whole screen yeah i think that's best that way everywhere you go it will follow the reporter, the reporter one or stand out or whichever one you want is that's up to you if you want us to see you or not you can choose whichever one you like okay got it so i'm going to choose Let's see. It's not letting me. I don't know why. Okay, share. There you go. And this one right here. No. Yep, we Let's can see. see your screen now. You can see? Okay, okay. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing how I use a, a, a class audio in the classroom. And then my school, too, when I got hired uh, by PHA, that was the person that were asking me if I was uh, if I ever use class audio. I said, yes, I use class audio all the time. So basically, this is my class audio account, okay? And I'm going to sign in with my own account, uh, credentials. And this is what I see, but this is my school. So the whole school, the whole campus is using class audio in the classroom. But I use it a little bit different, okay? I, I actually, since uh, I teach fourth grade, I let my students to be more responsible about their points. And you're going to see right now how I use it in the classroom. So basically, you're going to go to the menu. You're going to scroll down, and this is my homeroom. I actually teach in two classes, my class and then another of my coworkers is right here in the bottom. But I'm going to use mine, okay? So, oh, we got a new one. We got a, a new update on the, oh, yes. Okay, sorry. I just got a new update on my how to visit islands. Okay. Visit your island. Hold on. Let me, let me go real quick. So, basically, this is my class, okay? And this is my class. Uh, so, right now, these are my students. And then if you see the little bubble, on the right side, those are their points. I reset the points every six weeks, okay? So basically, I'm going to minimize this. So I reset the points every six weeks. So we start from fresh every six weeks. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to communicate with the parents. You got different ways. You can do it with class story, or you can do it through messages, or you can do it to calendar. I'm going to show you all three. So the first one is the class story. So what I do in class story, I actually add some events. For example, I already added that today we were doing the SGM and the math. We were taking a test, and the, the parents, they see this. 
Okay, and then another one, we don't have school on Monday. So I do my events all the time. So I'm always constantly updating my events uh, weekly. So like, if you see, you can see uh, the SGM, we were taking a test today. And then also for next week, we're going to be already giving the, the parents a heads up that we're not, we not going to have school. But if I go to all my events, so this is the way I do it. Okay, so when you want to create an event, you click on class story, and then you go to all of my events, and then you can create an event in here. So all you have to do is just create it. You can change the icons, you can change the color, you can add a title. If you want to add a description, you can add a description. And then also you can actually put the date that's going to happen. Okay, for me it's going to be that with next week. And then also you can actually go by time. And then after that you can create and then click, you're going to create, uh, create is going to do it by, by itself. Okay, so that's how I communicate with the parents. And then also in class story, the parents can see this too. For example, I got my McKeever Spirit. I'll take a picture of the student. I update it, okay, and upload it to the Google Classroom. And this is the, the this is what the parents see, and they can they can actually I can click on it and I can see which parents are seeing the messages. You see that? So that's what I like. You can see the constant uh, communication with parents. So another one we were doing today Thursday wearing pink. I got a picture of the students and I put wearing pink and then I got the likes. And then I can see which parents are actually use, uh, using and seeing the uh, updates or the events that are happening in the school. So this happened today. And then this happened yesterday. We're doing the reading buddies and they're earning those uh, little toys. So um, I update it all the time. And then some parents, they like it. Like, for example, on the, on the, what's it called? On the events, I got this one. We had no school. And then there's 13 parents already saw it or see it. And then also the SGM, like I said, it was, we're testing today the test. And then this is last week, we we're also wearing pink. So now more students, if you notice, more students are participating in the wearing pink. Okay, even me, I'm wearing pink. Uh, so that happened last week also. They were uh, every time that they're they're earning their buddies. So I take a picture and then upload it to the uh, to the class audio. So this is another two. This is my first two students, and then I add them into the next ones. So I am updating all the time. See that we did the CBA on Tuesday and updated that too. So that's one way to communicate and create uh, events through Class Dojo. So it's real easy and also it's free. You don't need to share your phone number. You don't need to share anything. All you do is just create a class. Another one, messages. This is what I communicate with the parents. I can send a message to the whole parents and I can, I, uh, this is what I do with the students. I take a picture of the homework and I say, this is a good afternoon, uh, my cure parents. And then I still have like some students without headphones and so on, and I explain why. And the good thing, when the parents are seeing this, they can actually click on a button and they can translate it to the language. They can choose any language they want to choose. In this case, uh, see right here, translate one person, I can see who wants, who actually translated, and then it will tell you in what language. So that's another advantage. They can, you can send them message in English and the parents, they can translate to any, any language. So I already talked about uh, the events, and then the other one was messages, so I can communicate with the parents. And I've been communicating with the parents. So every time you see the names, and I've been texting in Spanish or English, so the way they respond to me, that's the way I respond to the parents. The calendar, same thing. That's the way you can you create your events faster. And this is the Dojo Islands. This is new. It's like playing like a uh, type of Roblox. That's what it is. They have like a little island and they're playing with the uh, with other classmates. And I'm going to show you a preview. This is completely new. This is new this year. So you click on it and this is the way it looks. See, this is the island and that's how they play the students. And then I have to invite the students to play in this island. It's like Roblox. And I don't know if you're familiar with Roblox, but they're actually like getting points and uh, building like uh, like uh, their own dream house or buildings or they can destroy them too. So I haven't implemented this because this is, I don't use this for that. I actually use it more for communication. So let's go back to my class. So this is my class and you see the little red, this, those are students again in trouble. And what I do every Monday, I show to my students and oh, another thing that I want to mention, I got 95% of the students connected, okay? So most of the students or most of the parents, every time that the students are earning points or losing points, the, the parent get a notification by text or by email. And they're saying, oh, your son or your daughter lost points or earned points for this and that. And I'm going to show how I, I can do that. So on the family connections, on if I click on that one, actually I can see right here. The, so 
from the parents, 16 parents or 16 families out of the 17 are participating already. I just missing this this student right here, and probably that student is gonna go to another school because we already sent a letter and the parents are not responding. So uh, I think that student went to another school. So, but the rest of the students, I can hear click connected, and you can see everybody disconnected. You see that? And the way you can actually invite them, you can do it in two ways. I can click on the name of the student and they give you options. You can do it by email or you can do it by phone number. And they can they can get the invite. And then they can join the class. And then, um, let me see, let me close this. So the way I use the classroom here, for example, um, I, I give points to the students for many reasons. But also they can lose points for other reasons. For example, I'm going to choose, it, it doesn't matter, I'm going to choose one. I'm going to choose uh, Carlos. And in this case, I give points for reading AR, uh, daily battles when we're doing the math, the fluency when I'm doing the fluency checks on uh, reading uh, Microsoft Reading Coach. So when they finish that one on Fridays, I give them a point because I, I see that one in there. When they, happy birthday, I give them five points. When they're helping each other, I give a point. Homework, I assign homework. When I collect them, I give them the five points. The, the math journal, science journal, if, they're, if it's decorated or they maintain it nice or it's clean, they got the notes right, I check those every Monday and they get, I give them five points. Now, since I'm doing multiplication facts, when they're doing the multiplication facts, I give them two points. NOD stands for number of the day. And uh, we do the number of day every every single day. Right now we're building uh, billions, in uh, in different ways we do a standard form, word form, and I'm sorry, I'm just looking at it. Uh, expanded values and expanded notation. So that's part of the the weekly or the daily uh, routines. And then on task. So if I see them there on task, I give them a point for participating when they're doing the reading. And I'm gonna show you how I do the participation. And then when they pass a lesson on I ready, so I give them a point too. For perfect attendance, when we, the whole class gets perfect attendance, I gain five points to the whole class, okay? For persistence, I got some students that I click random, and they're struggling with reading, but they actually do the reading of the word problem or the application problem, I give them points for that too. Report cards too, so I actually pick them up today. So I invite my students to be more responsible. So um, I got the report cards, and then some, some more of the parents sign them. And I give them points for bringing their own report card to me. Safety, that's when I practice, um, that's when I practice lockdowns. I say lockdown and I practice with the kids. So we are, if we are safe, then I, and I make it all clear, I give them points for that too. Science fair is going to be later on. Teamwork, when they're doing the team pair, team pair uh, share, that's what I do, the teamwork. Wearing pink like today, I'm giving points for Thursdays when they were wearing pink, a pink shirt. When they pink, I give them points. The weather camera is going to be later on, and they're working hard. So all of these are opportunities so they build their character, and they're becoming more responsible, okay? So on needs work, that's the opposite. That's the one they lose in the points. So on this one, like if they're bullying someone else, I, I, take, away, I take away the points, and I can send a, a message to the parents. And then no air reading uh, for charge. For the for the devices, when they tell me, ah, I miss somebody, they say, uh, my battery's losing charge. But I said, I, did you charge it yesterday? And they say no. So I make, I make it more responsible. Uh, homework too. I, I told me I had to be very uh, clear with them. Say, I'm giving you five points for homework, but you can also five points if you're not bringing the homework. And right now, the outcome is very. This has been very positive. I I maybe like from the two classes that I'm teaching math, maybe one or two they missing the uh, missing or not not turning in the homework. But like lately, it's been like everybody's bringing the homework because they know the points. And then the journal uh, application, no multiplication, no NOD, school supplies, uh, not working hard. Often their sweaters untuck shirt and tucking out a churn. So so this is the ways they can get the points. Okay. So so this is what I'm do, do, doing with the kids every day. So they use Glass Dojo every day in every single class. And this is what I do on Mondays. So when they earn their points, I go on Monday and say, you know what, boys and girls, we're gonna go over the reports. So we go over reports and they can see their actual uh workout. Like so let's say it's a workout. But that's the way they behave in the class, and they actually they're becoming more responsible. For example, if I go to the hall all the time, and I show this report every day, so it gives you like a breakdown of how many tests have been, have been positive. So if you notice in the top, I've been positive a thousands, uh, one thousand seven hundred fifty-three times. I give, I have given them points, but also 
I've been taking away points, 170. So that that actually talks about really good about my class. So I got like one, maybe one, maybe that's it. Only one student is not performing at their best um, in the class. So this is very and this is very visual for their for themselves. So when I click on one, for example, I'm gonna choose this one, and every single student has their own report. And the good thing about it, when you're having a um, a teacher parent conference, you can actually show this to the parents. And then also, it gives you a, a better breakdown. When you scroll down, it gives you the time, the date, and also I can actually, uh, I can remove it, but also I can add notes on that. So that's what I like about Class Dojo. It's free, and it's, it doesn't require a lot. I have it in my cell phone. I have it in my tablet. I have it in my uh, computer. So you can carry it all the time. So this is what I like about it. It tells you the time, who gave the points, and then also you can add notes. So that's another way I can use uh, Class Dojo with, um, um, with the reports. Does anybody have a question right now on how to use the reports or the points? No, no questions. Okay. I don't so, see questions. No, no. Okay, so that's 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 where I'm using the the class dojo, and I've been using it for the last ten years. Another thing that I use with the students, uh, when I go to reports, I can actually go and add a, a teacher. So, for example, uh, I can I my principal wants for us to actually invite her so she can see the progress of the class. So, if you notice, I invite Miss Jaime which is my co-worker, that's what we're doing the dual, the dual classes. So she's doing the reading, she's re doing the reading and the social studies, and I'm doing the math and the science. So we actually working together. So the two classes, she can see the class, I can see the class. She gives points, I can take away points, and then we're participating, both of us. And also our principal, like, she will send us a message, you know what, this student, or why this student is losing points, or are you communicating with the parents? So she can see what I see, she can see. Also with Ms. Jaime, the same thing. So whatever we're doing, uh, any communication with the parents, they, we do that. Okay, we encourage the parents to use it. And then there's a lot of uh, uh, positive feedback on the parents too, because they're always asking me questions. Uh, I, I receive more notifications on my cell phone or notifications on my iPad or in the computer. I can see live the messages. Like right now, I have a message right here. Okay, uh, what else? Um, the communication, I already talked about communication. I talk about encourage. Uh, the monitor, like I said, the monitor is going to be, monitoring the students going to be with the reports. And also, it's real easy to edit the class. So, for example, if you want to edit the class, you can edit the students. You can edit the students. You can add more students. This is right here. You can families. You can actually invite the parents. Okay. The skills, you can change the skills at your own benefit. So, for example, you want to add one more, you click in here, and then once you click in here, you can change the icon, and you got so many options to choose the icons. See? You choose the icon, and then uh, after that, let's say, uh, let's see, let's, let's, let's add one, for example. So, on this one, let's say, I don't know, um, one that I've been using, like, for example, uh, collaboration, or reading out loud, or I, I use the, the NOD for this one, or the multiplication facts, or I can do superstars. I mean, there's, there's so many options you can use in here. So, for example, I'm just going to invent one. So, I'm going to do the pencil, and I'm going to see it uh, write the writing prompt, for example. So, I, sorry, prompt right there. And I can, I can also change the weight points. I can go zero. I can go all the way to five points, okay? I can do the same thing with this is a new skill. So these students are developing new skills and they, they like it. So they, they know they're expecting their points all the time. So you can add the skills, okay? You can, this is the way you can also do the needs work. Also, you can hear like, for example, you wanna add skills, you can do it here. And also you can hear in the bottom, it says choose which ones you wanna, so the parents can see. You can choose all the points or only the positive or the uh, no points. Right now, I'm just using the positive because I wanna create that, that um, uh, culture or expectations from me so the parents, they can say, oh, you know what, they're, they're getting the points. But I can also change it so they can see both. So when they're getting the points or they're losing the points, they can see that too, okay? Or I can send, you know what, i just going to use it in the classroom. I don't want to send any notifications to the parents. You can you have that option too. And then uh, teachers, 
This is your, when you click on teachers, this is when you invite the teacher. You can just go here and you can buy any teachers. But like in my case, I have the whole campus. The whole campus is using Class Dojo. And if you notice, the whole campus is using the Class Dojo, but some of them don't use it like the way I use it. Okay, everybody's using it in different ways. Uh, what else? So this is all the teachers. The settings, you can also change settings. Like for example, if you want to chat with the class, you can turn it off or turn it on, it's up to you. Uh, also enable comments. Like if you want for the parents to communicate with you, I, I just prefer to leave it on. Also, the students they can also put comments. I That one I turn it off. And this is where you do it. You can turn it on or you can turn it off. Uh, they enable the island. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna disable right now. And then also you can put the spooky theme. The, the students they can actually, also the students, what I like about these students, for example, Carlos right here, she can actually uh, design his own avatar. So once they log in, the parents, the parents, they can give access to the students and they can change their own avatar. For example, he had this little fox uh, hat and he told me like right away, Mr. Martinez, I add this with it. Like, That's fine. You can decorate your own avatar. Some of them haven't, they haven't done that, but like when they have access, they can choose their avatar and they can add things to the avatar. And then what was it? Ah, and the most, the tools that I use most of the time, so because we have, I know, I know we have about four or five minutes uh, attendance. So if you don't want, you want to keep your track of your own attendance, I don't use it because we use all the uh, tech, but you can do attendance in the classroom and it's real simple. You just click on it and then you can choose like, for example, their present is green. If they're absent, it's going to be red. And then they're tardy, it's going to be the yellow. You can keep track of that. And it's going to give you like a, um, like a report at the end of, at the end of the month. It will send you a, uh, a report to your email and you can get, keep track of the attendance on the students. So that's one option you can do that. Uh, another one is multiple select. For example, if the whole class is doing right, is doing great, you click on it and you can select all and you can choose. Or if it's a big group getting the points, you can get, you know what, was this student does, didn't get the points, this one, this one too, this one too, and you can get the feedback, okay? And then random, I love random because I know most of the teachers right now, they're using the popsicle sticks to do the call, um, to call the students when they wanna ask a question or they wanna read out loud. What I do with the students, I do random and they choose as a student and then I ask the question. And if they they, they answer correct or they read the question or they read the word problem, I give them the point. This is what they, how they get the points like daily. So this is what I do. If I do on task or the NOD or anything like that, I do like right away. So this is, uh, that's a random option. Okay, and then the timer, I use timer for everything, especially in math, because I'm saying, you know what, you got three minutes for this whole problem. All I have to do is just click on the timer. I can do the stopwatch, but I mostly use is a countdown, and it's real simple. You can do it right here, and then just change the timer and leave it on the side. And my students already know, oh, we use three minutes for a word problem. We use 10 minutes for the NOD. We use 10 minutes for the multiplication facts, and they know. Okay, and they know they actually I don't get up. They actually use the, the screen and they actually they, they are now more familiarized with the program that actually they can stand up. They do the work. I check real quick and they go and they get the points or they lose the points. And then another thing, this is new portfolios. You can do that one, too. But I, I also like this one when we're testing on the toolkit. If you choose on the toolkit, you have all these options, too. I can do a noise meter. I can click on it, and I say, you know what? You can change the sensitivity of the class. If they're too loud, you can actually show it to the whole class. Let's say you're taking a test, you can show that only. So now there's no distractions, okay? And you can change you can change sensitivity. You can go higher or lower. I will just go like maybe one fourth or maybe like this because it's very sensitive. The microphone, and you can see, hey, you're too loud, or the class is too loud. That's one option. Uh, another one that I use is the music. For example, if I, I want them to concentrate on the test, you can click on music and you can just click on the music and it will play music, okay? And they can concentrate. So if you wanna go a little bit faster, so you know why we need to do this project, I go to toolkit and I can play the music and I go active. So, and the, and the rhythm changes. And then that's just that. So that way they don't get distracted. And then another option you got in toolkit uh, is uh, da, 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 da. oh the timer. If you want to see the timer, just the timer. You click on the timer, and it will. You can add it. For example, 15 seconds, and then you can start it in nice and big. So now, where there's no distractions about the avatars, 
That's how I use it in the classroom. So that's another idea that you can use a big timer and it's real simple. It's free and it's available anytime that you want. And in the after it's going to do say, times up and it will ring for you and everything. So that's what I use in the toolkit and the team page here. You can click on it. You can create groups and this one, the group maker, and you can actually do the groups. I have done this. I got like five groups and you can right away, boom, the groups are there for you. So you don't have to be messing around with anything. And so you know what? Group one is going to be these students. Group two is going to be these students. It grows them like by in an instant. So that's another option you can head, get, uh, what is it, directions. You want to get directions. Uh, today's is going to be the weather. Or you can actually use the lesson plan, copy it, and then send it to, to Class Dojo. And random is here too. You can do it nice and big. And it chooses. And then you can do a question or read the problem out loud. or you can use this for many, many occasions in that way. There's no distractions. And then you can pick again. You click it again, and it will pick another student. See? So all of these are options that you can use in the toolkit. Attendance, like I said, I, that's where I use it. I get the reports. Uh, select multiple, uh, random. The timer is there, but this is small. That is small. And then the, the portfolios. Portfolios, like they just add in the activities or the pictures. But that is the only thing. You have to add the pictures to every single student. Uh, does anybody have any questions about any of the things that I presented today in this mini training on Class Dojo? I know it went fast. It's 30 minutes, but there's so many things to do in, uh, in Class Dojo. Any questions? I don't see any questions in the chat, but it really has changed a lot since I've seen it. So this was yes. a great overview today. Um, it does a lot more. And I think the key is all being consistent with using yes. it and it sounds like it's really working for your class so that's amazing. it is really working i mean they liked it and then also with the points i i forgot to explain that if they get an 80 percent and above we do a, a at the end of the six weeks we do a, like a little six weeks party so everybody has an 80 percent or, or more and we me and my co-worker we talk about it we get a list and then we do like a little party and they know they're expecting the party already this is gonna be tomorrow so we're doing nachos right now let's gain the the cans for tomorrow's party Yes. Nice. Well, that is fun. Thank you so much, Roberto. Uh, awesome. Everybody stick around. We'll do a door prize drawing. Sorry, Val. No, no. It's a, I just wanted to say it was awesome. I, we don't have enough on Class Dojo, so I think this is going to be really good um, to provide as a resource for the teachers. So I'm going to stop no the recording for you, Debbie.